when I see this problem, my first reaction is to say, okay, I'm told that 4 over x equals this thing, and I want x over 4. Well, can't I just flip, flip over this fraction and say, great, x over 4 equals x plus 18 over 5? Well, sure, that's completely true, but it's not one of the choices. So we're going to have to do a little more work with this and try to figure out what x over 4 equals. The way I'm going to suggest doing this is to do a little algebra and figure out what x is first. If we know x, we can find x over 4. So let's try that. I'm going to start off with this equation. 4 over x equals 5 over x plus 18. And I'm going to do something called cross multiplying, which is basically this. We're going to multiply both sides of this by x plus 18. You can do that because it's an equation. As long as you do the same thing to both sides, that's fine. So these cross out. I'm not done yet because there's still a denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides by x. And now these cross out. And look what we get at the end of this. We have 4 times x plus 18 equals 5 times x. Now that's a much nicer equation because there's no more rationals involved. And we can solve this in a pretty straightforward way. Let's try 4x and we distribute the 4. Right? 4 times 18 is something. 72. 72, there we go. Equals 5x. And that means if we subtract 4x from each side, we find that x equals 72. And look, that's one of our answers, but hold on. We're looking for x over 4. So we still have to go through that last step, of dividing 72 by 4. We're going to divide each side by 4, and we get this. We get x over 4 equals, um, what is 72 divided by 4? That's, what is that? I don't think that's a whole number. Oh, no, it is. It is. This is 18. Brain being slow. Okay, so that's how we approach this problem. In this case, we had to find x before we could find x over 4.